The Army's Melkava 4 tank has been in active operation since 2004. The tank is capable of firing on the move at moving targets. Armored units have played a major role in all of Israel's battles, especially in the Second Lebanon War. We made some t changes. We trained for it. Uh, the thing that I can say is that we improved a lot the work with infantry, with artillery, with air force, uh, as I told you before. And we changed some stuff that I cannot say here, but we, we, make some, we made some changes. I can say that uh, definitely the America Va tank has some improvements. It, it's better than it was in the uh, last uh, war in Lebanon. More than that, I think even more important that the uh, shield and the tank itself, you always say that uh, the people is the most important thing, not the tank, but the people. I think we made some improvement in the uh, courses for the people. We learned the last, uh, all over the last year, we learned the lessons we checked ourselves again. Armored units are an integral part of the war waged against terrorists in Gaza. The situation has required tank units to adopt different strategies. A place where terrorists take advantage of the civilian population and push women and children to the forefront. And that's always a huge dilemma. I can assure you that uh, when I go back home and I look to myself in the mirror, I feel good that I risked my life and not uh, take uh, too, much, too uh, much risk on the civilians. There is some mistakes that I know that happens, but if you go and look from the eyes of the, eyes of the commander, he did this mistake after, after he was under huge pressure, under fire, and using uh, civilian kids women and children. Even in the last time we were in the, the Gaza Strip, we were attacked by women that was armed under our uh, clothes because they know we don't check women.